Hi folks, this tutorial will focus on the use of image sequences rather than video streams for facial motion capture. A PNG image sequence is simply a set of individual frames in PNG format, which can be produced from a video. Many video editors support output in this format, and you can also use iClone itself to produce PNG sequences, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, you need a video. The same calibration, head position, as well as lighting rules, which have been described in previous videos, also apply for recorded video. My next tutorial will provide a lot of detail on using head-mounted cameras, which is also relevant for PNG sequences made using head cams. But when using a static camera setup, mounted on the desk or on a tripod, the user's head needs to be under even lighting and centrally placed as before. When recording video to produce PNG sequences, the calibration pose should be held for a couple of seconds before starting to perform. To produce a PNG sequence from a video directly in iCloud, simply open up a new project and drag in your pre-prepared video. Open up your render settings and change the output format to image ensuring it's sent as PNG and showing a sequence. Change the output resolution to the same resolution as the video you've put in. And export the video. And once the sequence is exported, it will look like this with a PNG image for every frame in the original video. Now back in iClone with the character loaded and ensuring iClone's mocap plugin along with Faceware real time for iClone are running. Open Faceware real time for iClone settings, go to the camera drop down and select image sequence. Simply navigate to the folder where you've stored the image sequence and select the folder itself. But please note, you don't open the folder, just select the actual folder containing the image sequence. And once it's selected, press select folder and you'll see that the image sequence now loads. Staying on settings for a moment, you can see that I have the static cam tracking model selected and I leave it at that because I'm using a static camera based video. But if I was using a head camera based video, I'd change the tracking model to head cam. Now with the PNG sequence loaded, you can see from the green marker lines that it's tracking the user's face already, but you still need to calibrate and this is why it's important to have a couple of seconds at the start of the video available in a calibration pose. Now, once loaded, the image sequence will loop continuously. So, if you have a short image sequence, you can wait until it plays from the start again to calibrate, as I will here. But if you're working on a longer sequence, it can be easier simply to reload the sequence and then quickly calibrate at the start. And the sequence is starting, so I'll calibrate the face and then move to the facial mocap plugin. Character is already connected, so I can preview. And as you can see, the facial motion capture is now driving through from an image sequence. Now, whilst this is running, let me just show you the image sequence frame rate function. I'll go back to settings and in camera options down at the bottom here you have image sequence frame rate now by default it's set at 30 frames a second but if you've captured at a higher frame rate you can enter this manually here in fact you can also change the frame rate to either speed up or slow down the playback of the sequence for slow motion or fast motion effects 
This has been a tutorial covering the use of image sequences using iClone 7's Facial MoCap plugin, along with Faceware Real Time for iClone. The next tutorial will cover the use of head mounted cameras. Thanks for watching.